Okay, there is a uh, area called HSM extract. You have to go here, manage HSM extract definitions. Business object extract name is business object email. Uh, this is completely uh, into the only the, uh, the, the technical consultant basically. This is an extract. Basically, this is also one kind of tool to extract the data from the fusion system for a reporting purpose as well as interface point of view. Okay, this is a extract is a reservoir to generate the GUIDs for the workforce structure. Okay, these are the object key mapping. Okay, what you need to do is you have to clone this process and uh, you have to assign any one of the LDG or without LDG, then you have to submit this process. Okay, for submitting this process, you have to, once you clone this process, then you have the option called submit extracts. Okay, you have to come over here after cloning process. Okay, without cloning process, it won't work. It, by default, it, it won't pick any values because as of now, in this environment, nobody cloned. This is not a functional one, okay, technical guys need to do that. You can choose any one of the LDG. Okay, I'm taking, selecting the LDG which I have used. Okay, just select the business object key mapping for data exchange. Just click on run. While running, in the parameter section itself, you have to choose. It's a flow name, you can give any one of the flow name for you. The extract type, okay, the unique identification number generation and key mapping. If you select this, automatically what it will do is actually it will first the previous generated unique value, then it will regenerate the new unique value and it will be mapped to the respective object as well. You can get the cross reference data as well from here. After submitting that batch, okay, what it will do is actually it will take the data from the backend table. There is a one of the backend table data loader. It, uh, HC underscore uh, the data underscore loader. Okay, that table it will hold all the data. Okay, from the edge it will pick the cross reference. This extract will pick the data. And key mapping only the key mapping is required. Only you can choose the key mapping. Okay, just my suggestion is go for the global unique identification generation and key mapping. If you do that automatically, it will give you all the data for all the except the cross reference. The cross reference anyway, you are going to submit the process over there, you have to download from the um, uh, the content center, server itself. You have to click on the next, then you have to submit. You can choose as a object as well. Say for example, sorry, I forgot one of the parameters. You can choose object as a business object, which object you want exactly to process. Say for example, I want to process the salary. I want to load the salary. For loading the salary, what are the details is required for me? What are the GUIDs is required? I need a person GUID is required. Another one is worker relationship GUID is required, along with cross reference type. Because only they have to populate only the action, whichever action it's going to be used for the salary to populate the salary for the respective employee to 
ABL process. I need only the assignments, details, what is the assignment ID, what is the person ID, and what kind of action. That action is going to become as a part of cross reference. And what is the enterprise legal employee level, what is the business name. Those are not required. Only that ID is required for me. And the relationship ID. Automatically, this the employee is belongs to which work relationship. This relationship is made with each business unit and which department those relationship automatically define background. So I will take only the ID, work relationship ID and as well as person ID to populate a salary along with the action. That's it. So you can choose only the specific object as well. If you are not going to select only the object, it will generate for all the objects. And you have to submit, you have to click on next and you have to submit. To see the status of this batch and to download the file, you have to go for the navigator. Under the navigator, there is a payroll. Under the payroll, there is a checklist. In the checklist, there is a overview page. In the overview page, you can able to get that by passing this, the parameter name, the flow name, whichever flow name we entered in the parameter section itself. 